Hey, what's up guys? Hope everyone out there is doing well. My name is Mike and it's time for us to get into another music reaction. So guys, we got an artist that I've reacted to only once so far, but he was amazing. His name is Richard Thompson. This is actually going to be Richard and Linda Thompson. The song is called The Calvary Cross. This is a request for Peter Jack. Below this video that we're going to be checking out, um, I see this that says the Nighthouse song, Richard Thompson, Calvary Cross. If this is the song that I'm thinking it is, because I've seen the Nighthouse, I'm going to be so happy. But then also I've heard part of it. I've heard like the beginning. If it is that song, if it's, I'm, I'll bring it up again later if it is, because it might not be the right song and I'll just shut up about it now. But um, anyway, this song is from, uh, what album did I see it was from? Uh, let's see, I Want to See the Bright Lights Tonight, 1974. Um, so yeah, this is a, uh, uh, let's see, a song that appears to be, you know what, I have the meaning. I, let me not decipher it. Let's just, uh, I pulled up this other link from unmask.us. Uh, here's what Richard had to say. Calvary Cross is about a muse, or about anything. It's about a drive that you might not want, but it's there, and you're a slave to it. So, uh, yeah, I kind of saw that in the lyrics, too, but it's coming from two perspectives. I'm guessing Richard's going to, like, sing this first, and then Linda's going to sing this next, because the lyrics change, to, like, the gender changes. And it says in the second verse, like, and you can be my broom boy. So I'm assuming Linda will be singing that part. Maybe she'll be singing all of it. I don't know. But uh, yeah, without further ado, I'm excited to hear this. Uh, first song I ever heard from Richard was uh, Hard On Me. And that was an excellent song. I have, I'm confident that this one is going to be awesome too. Especially if it's the song that I heard in the night house that I'm thinking of. Without further ado, Richard and Linda Thompson, The Calvary Cross. This is 1974. It sounds amazing. I don't know if this is remastered or what, but it sounds great. It's a very nice album cover too. Beautiful guitar work in this intro. This is it! <laughs> yes! Okay, I'm so before we go on any further, this is the song from The Night House. If you guys have seen that movie, this song keeps coming on, on its own, from supernatural reasons. Always this song, and always that part of the song where it's like, dint, dint, but just that part. So I've heard part of this, but that's all I've heard because that's the only part you hear in the movie. Wow, I'm so happy that this it turned out to be this song. I never would have checked that song out on my own. Thank you for this request, Peter. Here we go. Wow, I'm so happy, man. Nothing with a reason 
Okay, hold on. Let me just do a commentary stop here. I am so freaking happy that it turned out to be that song from the, the movie The Night House. Because every time I heard it in that movie, I... Okay, so I reacted to that movie. It's one of the first horror movie reactions I ever did on my channel. And um, why I keep saying every time I hear it is because uh, not only did I react to it, but then I had to watch it again when I edited it. And the editing process can be pretty lengthy. So it's almost like I've seen the movie three times. And every time that this song came on, I was like, man, I need to check this song out. It's so beautiful, this intro part. And I never did. And I never would have, you know, unless it came up in a request. And Peter, I'm so glad that you requested it because now I've heard it. Anyway, let me shut up about that now. Um, this song is absolutely beautiful. Um, it almost bring a sense of, brought a sense of uh, familiarity to me. And that was such a good cozy feeling having heard that first intro couple seconds and what a beautiful melody this song has man it's just so relaxed calm and beautiful his vocals too carry very um peacefully over the 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 music as well um now that chorus part with that cool bass line that i pointed out that's a completely different part of the song that i haven't heard but the rest of the song had that same melody carrying throughout so Although I haven't heard that much of the song, it had that same melody, you know. Um, very beautiful song. I absolutely love this one, man. This really, you know, I, I, I could picture myself listening to this song on a, uh, you know, a drive down a straight, you know, highway or something at night. I could picture myself listening to this song just laying around the apartment or, you know, doing chores in the apartment. What a beautiful song it is, man. Um, let's keep going. I did not expect Richard to be singing these lyrics because of the broom boy part. Okay, so Linda must just be doing the backing kind of the, the I heard like, ooh, that kind of stuff. And you can be my broom boy. Scrub me till I shine. This song is so freaking good. I'll be like that must be Linda back there. Beautiful. Song has a weird structure, but um, I absolutely love it. This song is almost like almost all verse, and then there's only like a little bit of chorus. It's real short. Then it just kicks right back into that verse, which is the same melody the entire verse. But I see why. It's such a beautiful melody. You can't let it go. You gotta you gotta keep listening to it. You gotta keep playing it. Um, Richard and Linda Thompson, the Calvary Cross. Absolutely beautiful. I am so beyond pleasantly surprised that it's that song from that movie, The Night House. Um, what a beautiful melody this song has. Like I was just saying before I started clapping, um, I kind of noticed it in Hard On Me too that his songs don't, they at least the two I've heard, they have weird structures. You know, it seems to be like very heavy on the verses, at least in both Hard On Me and this song. 
and the choruses were a bit few and far between it seemed they're just short and you know really short choruses lengthier verses um so that's kind of a new concept to me that i'm not used to hearing but that sounds you know excellent and like i was saying the melody in that verse is just too damn good you can't let it go you got to keep playing it that's the way the song has to go um wow it, it, you just get lulled in hypnotized i don't even know if i said much during this reaction because i was just like hypnotized by that that melody do 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 so good and the way he croons over the uh his vocals croon over that melody is just so beautiful perfect calm peaceful excellent i you know i don't know what else i can say about this song that i haven't already said but um this is an immediate you know playlist song for me this is immediate one of the favorite things i ever listened to yes i am a little biased on that because i was really taken by hearing that intro from the night house but nevertheless hearing the whole product now what an amazing perfect song man and um the way this song sounds fits the meaning uh what richard said about being amused or something that um you know you might not really want but you need you know it's really something that you're you're addicted to uh, and in a lot of cases that could be love you know it could be other things that are not good for you too but i like to think he meant that in the the sense of uh a woman maybe linda so anyway guys uh richard if you haven't heard him before the two songs i've heard absolutely pleasant artist to listen to uh if this kind of stuff is not your speed definitely check out i recommend the other song i heard hard on me it's more rocking i know i'm no expert on richard but you know uh hopefully one day i will be the more reactions i do but um yeah if you're still here in this video thank you guys for taking the time out of your day to hang out with me and enjoy some absolutely beautiful music with me if for some reason you're curious and you want to see my night house reaction that has this song in it I'll uh, link it at the end of this video. You'll have the little icon on the screen, and I'll put it in the description as well. Anyway, um, if you guys have any other songs you want me to check out from Richard or anyone else, please put them in the comments, and we will see you guys in the next one.